I'm Patrick Bailey with IQList.com. Today is November 11th, 2018, and this is round two of fixing my minimum error, minimum temp bed issue that I had before. I had it again. My fix was not a permanent fix. So let me go show you what I did, and hopefully this time I can get it fixed better. Okay, I tried to fix this before in my last video, and hopefully I put a little hover over here showing what the, the error is. So basically here's the error I have, like an error minimum temperature bed. And what that is, is the proof is telling me that there's, it can't detect the temperature on the bed itself. So there's an issue with that. And what I had found before is that I had crimped it. I kind of cut it off the wire so it was kind of going in and out. It would work, then it wouldn't work. And so the bad thing was I could print 10 things, and the 11th one, it would cut off halfway. So I was really unreliable in trying to print big things, especially things that moved around a lot. Um, so that was driving me nuts. So I, I went to go fix it, and I did a temporary fix that worked pretty well. But what I did is I cut out right at the edge there, and I'll, I'll go over that in a minute. But right where I did, I replaced it all, and I kind of made it too stiff. And I think when I made it too stiff, it worked for a while. In fact, I started printing out a big... Um, a big carabiner here. And so I got so far, but you know, it toasted. I had the same error. Um, now somebody mentioned in my, in the video I put up here, in fact, it was 3d Gustner here. And basically he was talking about, let's see, da, 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 da. consider next time to use silicon wires, which are much more flexible and don't break that fast with all the motion. So what I did is I went on uh, Amazon and here I actually went and bought some silicon wires and yeah, they are pretty, Pretty flexible. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go, my theory right now is I'm going to cut off some more there and where things are really bendable right at that joint, I'm going to have this silicon wire uh, with nothing there and then use the heat shrink further up. So in places where it's not going to move so much. So hopefully that's more of a permanent fix. If not, I also did order from Prusa the heat bed, th heat bed the heat bed thermistor. So I ordered two of these so I could replace the whole thing. The only thing I have a question on if I have to go that route is that's taped down right now with a special kind of tape that I don't know exactly what the tape is. I haven't had to, I haven't researched it yet. Um, and I'm wondering if that's included with this thermistor or if I need to go buy this, what I'm guessing is some kind of heat resistant tape. Um, or if I can just reuse what I have, if I can take it off and put it on, I don't know. Um, but hopefully it won't come to that. Hopefully this fix, well, I know if I do this, it will fix it, but for how long? My other thing did fix it, and it fixed it for, you know, a good five or six or ten hours. It was better than before. It got further along before it died off, but it died off. So, um, anyway, let me go show you what I'm doing and hopefully get this fixed. Okay, so I've taken apart the bed here. So I took all the bolts off of this, and I think what my problem was, when I put that new piece of wire in here, I kind of went a little crazy on the heat shrink here. And so I just, when I put it all down, it just was too stiff. So my thinking right now is, I may have to replace this whole thing. We'll see. But what I'm going to do for now is I'm going to come up here, I might as well just do it right now, is I'm going to cut this piece out. So I'm going to cut this hole. I'm going to go a little further and cut this entire piece out. And then I'm going to take the flexible stuff, which I have over there. I'm going to put that uh, silicon wire, which is a little more flexible, and hook it here and hook it here, and then only shrink wrap really closely. So I'm only put it up here where it's not going to move so much, and down here where it shouldn't move at all because it's on the, the heat bed, and then have just the bare, I, mean, I shouldn't say bare, but no shrink wrap here. I think that might have been my problem. And hopefully that'll get me, you know, I think it will get me fixed, but for how long? Hopefully that's a permanent fix. Otherwise, I guess next step is probably replacing the entire heat, the, um, the thermistor down here. Okay, this time around I thought I'd show a little bit more of my work. Last time I just kind of well, just kind of breezed over it real quick. So what I've done, I, I, I cut those back, and so now I've got this more flexible wire. I got a red and a black one, and they're really the silicon wire, really flexible, based on that suggestion. I think I'll be good. So, you know, I stripped them, put them together here, and so now I'm going to solder them up. Now, you might well, I am not the best solder. I can just kind of get a few things done. So, if anyone has any better techniques or knows a better video to refer to, then please do that. So, I'm just going to, you know, do my little sloppy job here. There we go. Get that one on. 
And then what I've done is I've cut a little bit of sheet shrink, just barely enough to cover both that is my idea. And so I'll pop that off here. Run this up. And get that over, just barely. And then fire up my heat gun. And then I'm just going to rinse and repeat and do that for the other four connections. The only thing to take note of is before you connect this side to the other side, if you want to put this heat shrink on, you better put it on first and push it back further. So you, Otherwise, you're going to have to cut it out and redo it again. So I'm not going to film every one, and I'm sure there's better techniques, but just to show kind of what I'm doing as a layman. And so I'll do all the rest of these, get it connected up, and hopefully this will fix my problem. Okay, so there is my wiring job. So nothing too complex on it. So I got the heat shrink on all four. Heat shrink here, heat shrink here, heat shrink here, heat shrink here. And now in between, this is all that flexible silicon. So this will be down in this area where it was getting pinched before. And so hopefully that will solve my problem. I hope. So now it's just a matter of getting it back together and run it and... Hopefully it runs long term. Okay, I got it all back together and now it is working. So I've been trying to print things out. So, well, just like the last time it did work for a while, even the last one I did. So I printed out, so far I printed out these. Yeah, that's probably hmm, two, three hours worth of printing there. No problems. And now I'm going, starting on the big memajama, which is trying to actually finally get one of these big ones done in paint that my daughter's been bugging me for. Um, so I think it's, well, I think it's fixed. If you don't see a third video from me in the next few weeks, call it fixed. Um, I don't know how long this fix will last, um, oh, uh, but I, I'm confident. I think this is going to be good. So we'll see. Uh, if you don't see a third video, we're good. Um, but also, one thing I wanted to note is how many rolls I've done on this. So I went and took a little quick video downstairs showing. I, I got a bunch of rolls stacked up in my uh, crawl space. And just to let you guys know... Um, Anyone who might be, you know, concerned about 3D printing and the state of it right now. I have 15 totally empty rolls. If you add more in here, I've got a couple of rolls up here that are close to empty and are halfway done. In total, I've probably done almost 20 rolls before I started having some of these problems with the wear and tear. Some of it my fault, some of it just the fact that things wear and tear down. So um, at this stage of the game, doing 20 rolls-ish without having uh, major you know, mechanical issues, which I just had. I think that's acceptable. But I'm hoping five years from now it's not. I hope they get better and better at this. They get better materials, better ideas. I Because I eventually want them to go to the microwave oven. How many of you have repaired your microwave oven? You know, microwave oven is good for 20 years, barring some strange thing happening. And I hope the 3D printing industry goes there. There's a lot of complexity going here. There's a lot of things moving, a lot of things going on. So it's a hard problem to solve, I'm sure. I'm not in that realm. And my only experience is this one printer, the Prusa 3D, uh, i3 Mark III, which I like. But I think it's okay now, but I hope it gets better because this has been frustrating to me to have to fix it. And I can't, we, you know, it's okay right now. But five years from now, if you expect more and more people to have 3D printers, it needs to have fewer and fewer problems as they figure this out. And I think that's what they're doing. Uh, not to complain about the current state. The current state's fine. But I hope in the future things get more and more bomb-proof as we as we figure these things out. You know, this is I want to say a ver you know it's a new newer industry where they're trying to get more. They're not mainstream, but to go mainstream it needs more reliability because I imagine some people after getting one broken walk away, uh, and I'm not going to walk away. And I hope in the future it gets better and better. But anyway, enough of my me get up on my soapbox. It's fixed. I think we're good. I'm running a big one right now. Hopefully life is good. And I got to thank, thank, uh, what was his name? 3D Gusner for the suggestion of getting the, the silicon, the silicon, uh, wiring because the flexibility, I think that's going to fix, that's going to fix my problem long-term. So thanks for that. And 
I think that's enough for this video. Hey, if you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, hey, give it a thumbs down. Also, if you like what we are doing here, subscribe to the channel by clicking the subscribe button. And lastly, have a piece of info to share? Just post a comment.